Hi, it's Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we are looking at the budget disc. So I'm just looking at um, some of the photos I took. So I'll do the same thing, I'll put the montage in first and we'll do that now. So what you can see is is that the Vaseline is the absolute king. It has, as a lot of um, our uh, homosexual friends know, stool getting out the fucking shot. <laughs> so if you can see straight away, the same thing happened again. And Ian, if you're watching, this is not to test how to rust proof your car brake discs or motorcycle brake discs. This is a good example of just a nice clean sheet, a bit of steel, and just seeing what works compared to what in the rust department, or rust um, inhibiting department, let's put it that way. So our Vaseline, you can see it, it's still got pooled water on it, I can still feel it sticky. You can probably see it. that rust there, that rust there, that just rubs off-ish, yeah that just rubs off, you see. That's just rust that's just transported from the other bits of the lard. Uh, pretty much the same thing. We argue that's actually rust under there, so it is actually penetrating the lard eventually. And we had the unique, as you've seen from the screenshot at uh, the slideshow, we had the unique opportunity, which hardly happens in this country, of actually a discovered in snow. So it has had everything. It has had rain, it has had snow, it had sleet at some point, it had the cold, you know, it dropped down to like minus five, six at one night or something, shit like that. So you can see straight away. Uh, that the from the montage, the fucking montage, the um, slideshow jobby, that the fucking crap, uh, 365 days of the year, shit the bed instantly. Weirdly enough, the next one to go was Castrol. So the Castrol absolutely shit the bed right early on. Um, the GT started to rust from this side, so it's obviously not the lard, so it literally just started to rust that side. Could be doing wind direction and stuff like that. But the old oil did seem to last a bit longer um, than the Castrol. Fuck knows why, probably the deposits and carbon and shit and all the rest of it was in it. Um, which one was that one? Uh, I can't remember now. What's that one? Oh, that's the Molly, that shit the bed again. So, the, so we've got Molly GT, fucking crap. Um, so them ones are basically the products that are meant to stop rusting. Chip oil, it's weirdly enough, it's actually rusted quite deep as that, isn't it? Like this bright flash rust, it's kind of gone under the chip oil and um, turned to shit. So the oils, old oil, castrol and chip oil seem to have shit the bed. Obviously, what we can see here is this is all about um, stiction. It's how well, when the rain comes lashing down and the wind and all the rest of it, it's all about how these products can stick, can adhere to the surface, which makes sense. You know what I mean? If you've got a protective coating like paint or something, you know, you key paint, you want it to fucking stay there. Now, these discs, I'll show you some pictures of me prepping the disc now. But these discs did get a good scuff up from uh, 180, I think it was 240 after that. Um, so they have had a good scuff up because basically this had been sat in the garage for a couple of weeks and there were some flat, tiny bits of flash rust. Um, so I had to get rid of them to make sure it was all clean. And then it was all, um, it was acetone and I wore gloves and all the rest of it so I didn't get my own finger grease on there because you know that avoid the experiment a bit. But as you can see, the Vaseline works a treat, and some guy did make a comment actually, which I thought wasn't a bad wasn't a bad idea. Um, well, two guys actually. One guy said that for his dirt bike, he covers his wheels um, in Vaseline. 
so he dilutes it with what did he say i think he said turpentine or something like that. dilutes the vaseline slightly with a bit of turpentine puts in a spray bottle and sprays it over his wheels now he's got um obviously sport wheels for his dirt bike and he said that it's not so much the rust it's just when he comes to clean it with a hose after he's got it covered in shit and mud when he blows it the spokes a bit of water you know with a of a, a, a fucking power lance you know a pressure washer it just all the dirt just instantly falls off another guy said that he was told uh, by some old boy or something like i can't remember the story but he was saying that he covers his spring his actual um rear suspension spring because you know they're powder coated usually and eventually it gets under and he says he coats that spring in vaseline and then just fucking leaves it forever and it never seems to you know because the stuff sticks like shit to a blanket the fact of the matter is is that I can't remember how much the Vaseline was. The lard, you know, the block of lard, I think this was like fucking 68 pence or something like that, you know, fuck all. I think the Vaseline was, um, well, it was obviously out of my personal, um, you know, me and Isaac's personal supply, but <laughs> um, I think it's like one pound for a tub or something. That's a small tub, but a pound, you know what I mean? So if you look at these, a pound and this, and then some of these, that's like four or five quid. Uh, the Molly's like four or five quid. Castrol, obviously, that's really fucking expensive. It's not like you're going to use engine oil. Old oil, yeah, didn't work. Uh, the fucking crap, you know, it's ten quid for a litre bottle or something, or nine quid for a litre. And it doesn't fucking work. You know, chip oil did better than this. And it's just like... Fucking chip oil. Or old oil. Old oil. We've all got a fucking little... Where's my, uh, you know... We've all got, even this is a bit of old oil in the bottom of there. You can see that. You know what I mean? It's just like, I don't get it. It's just, uh, so yeah, the difference between this, uh, all these products, and then something like um, the ACF50 or the XCP is that it's its sticks and it's its ability to adhere to the surface. And that's how it protects it at the end of the day. You know, that's what paint is. There's nothing glory magical about paint really. Yes, there's UV and all the rest of it. Um, but it's basically there just to act as a, a barrier, you know what I mean? And um, the Vaseline and the lard do the same. And the Vaseline, I'd say, performs better than the lard. So if you are not in a pinch, but if you don't want to get buy into these stupid, shitty products, you know what I mean? If you, you just, There's a cheaper alternative. Um, I must, I have to say that yes, this large, uh, the Vaseline, um, is probably a bit self-healing almost. Um, but obviously shit is going to stick to that because I can feel it, it's sticky. But you could probably wipe a lot of this off and it'd still have a good protective layer. Any road, so that's that, that's how to do this on a budget. Don't use oils because oils are just fucking wank. Um, you know, they're design, designed to lubricate and all this, but their stiction is so, so but compared to stuff like vaseline lads things with fats in basically you know these are fats and we're not fats are like to get off things you know grease is hard to get off shit should have actually used just a tub of grease got a bit of general purpose grease and put that on as well but yeah I, I, i'd imagine it's probably exactly the same as these two hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit